Hello, hi everyone. Uh, this is Professor Puneet Kumar. I will be taking the basic thermodynamic problems which we will be discussing right now. So, here is the problem. Let us read the problem once. A linear temperature scale is chosen such that temperature at ice point is 100 degree. It is just degree. It is having no unit. That means we are speaking here about the new scale which is not a standard one. This is the centigrade scale which is the standard conventionally used thermometer. Okay. So, we are here right now speaking about the new scale. It is saying that a temperature scale at ice point is 100 degrees and the temperature of the steam point of the new thermometer is 400 degree centigrade. What does this mean? See here I have two containers. In one container I have filled with ice water which is at 0 degree centigrade. Okay. Right now in this ice ball if I dip the regular centigrade thermometer it, sh it will show 0 degree centigrade which is very obvious. Right. Next if I take the new scale and dip into the ice water what will it show? It will be showing 100 degrees. It is of a unknown unit. I am just mentioning it as 100 degrees. Now, in the same way, I have also taken a 100 degree centigrade steam. Now, what I will be doing is, I will be dipping the centigrade scale into this vessel. Obviously, this thermometer shows 100 degrees. Whereas, when I dip this one to the 100 degree centigrade steam, it will be showing 400 degrees. This is how the new scale shows its reading. When it is dipped into the ice, it will be showing 100 degree and when it is dipped in, into the steam, it will be showing 400 degrees. This is how the problem has been narrated. Okay, what is next? Now, the author is asking obtain the relation between the thermometric property and temperature. So, we have already discussed in the earlier class by my colleague what is thermometric property. To measure the temperature, the temperature on its own self cannot say what is the temperature of that respective body. For that reason, the temperature in the thermometer, suppose if I take a mercury thermometer, we see the temperature by looking into the marking. But as we as an engineers, so before designing the thermometer, so the expansion of the mercury as the temperature increases, the mercury expands and it travels to the higher length. Now, now we can understand that when the temperature is higher and higher, the expansion of the mercury will make the level of the mercury to rise in the thermometer. So that means the proportionality that means the temperature is directly proportional to the length of mercury in the thermometer. So, by this what is thermometric property? The length of the mercury is interpreting the temperature. So, the thermometric property is the length in this problem. Suppose if we take the uh, scanner which we are recently using, there the thermometric property is EMF. So, it is a new technology, but in the olden days, it was usually the thermo conventional thermometer where length was the thermometric property. So, here he is asking to obtain the relationship between the thermometric property in this problem, it is the length and temperature. So, we need to build a relation between length and temperature. Okay, that is the next question. Okay. For this scale also obtain the relation between this temperature scale and the centigrade scale. That means we are also supposed to deduce an equation which relates the relationship between the centigrade scale and the new scale. What this scale is? The new scale. There are two scales we have taken in this problem. Next is what would be the temperature in degree centigrade corresponding to the temperature 0 degree in this scale. That means to say 
So we have already understood that in the centigrade scale, when the temperature is 0 degree centigrade, the new scale is showing 100. And in the centigrade scale, when the temperature is 100 degree centigrade, the new scale is showing 400 degree. In the same way, the author is asking to evaluate when the new scale is showing 0 degree, what will be the respective temperature on the centigrade scale? That is what will be the final solution. So let us start with the first one. That is, we know that the linear, the, the linear equation. So taking the help of that itself, uh, this is the relation written for linear scale that is for centigrade scale, both are linear scales. That means they are directly proportional. Temperature is directly proportional to length. Here, first I will solve for Celsius scale. Next, I will be taking upon the new scale. In the Celsius scale, uh, this is the equation what I have written for the Celsius scale. That is T degree centigrade is equal to A L plus B. So what is T degree centigrade? Obviously, it is the temperature. Here, A and B are constants, which is never going to change for a particular thermometer. The value of A and the value of B always remains constant for that particular thermometer. So what is L? L is the thermometric property value. Here, for this problem, L represents length. Okay. So this is the first fundamental equation. Now what I am going to do here, let us look into the figure and then substitute the values. So it has been clearly written here as at ice point. Here we are clearly mentioned it is for Celsius scale at ice point. You can see here at ice point the value of the temperature is 0 degree centigrade. And I will write the length here as L i. Length that means from the bottom the length is L i. Okay. So when temperature is 0 degree Celsius, I will equate L is equal to L i. The suffix i is representing ice point in this problem. The length L is equivalent to the length of the mercury when the thermometer is submerged inside the ice container. Next is steam point. I will take L is equal to Ls. Why? Because when the th thermometer is submerged inside the steam, the length would be obviously have gone to this point. So I am calling this point as L s. And when will the L will become L s? When the temperature is 100 degree centigrade. Now, I will substitute these values and see that uh, I have substituted L is equal to L i in equation 1. So, here in the place of T degree centigrade, I have substituted 0. A and B anyhow are constants. When temperature is 0, L becomes L i. This is how the equation has been written. So the next issue equation has been written here. When the temperature is 100 degree, you can see here, when the temperature is 100 degree, in the place of temperature, I have substituted 100. In the place of L, I have substituted it as L s. We have subtracted it and this is what the equation comes out. And I will rearrange in such a way that I will get the value of constant value A. Now the A is equal to 100 divided by Ls minus Li. That is how what I have got or deduced as the value of A. Next is what I will do? I will substitute the value of A in the equation 4. Here the equation 4 has been written. So I will be substituting the value of A into this equation. So I will be getting the value of B in the later step. 
as I substitute the value of A in equation 4, why I am substituting A in equation 4? So that I can get the value of B. So this is the constant value B's rearrangement. So B constant value is 100 minus 100 LS divided by LS minus LI. So this is a very familiar thing which you have already seen in the previous classes of my colleague. Next, I have got both the constant values A and also B. So these two values of A and B, I will be substituting in the equation 1. So now I have evaluated the value of A and also I have evaluated the value of B. Now since both have them have got evaluated, I will be substituting it in equation 1. After doing it so, the final equation what I will be getting is so and so. That is T degree centigrade is equal to 100 into L minus LS divided by LS minus LI plus 100. This is the, the linear uh, centigrade scales equation. Now we will be going on to the derivation of the new scales equation which will be you know, we will be doing it right now. Okay. Now we have der also derived for the new scale. We can see here, instead of degree centigrade, I have distinguished by a letter N. For the earlier centigrade scale, we have written T degree centigrade. Now we are replacing the T degree centigrade with N. And obviously, we should be knowing that the constant A and B of the earlier centigrade and of the new scale are different. You can give a different notation for it. Since we have done it separately, we are carrying the same annotation, but the values will be different. So keeping that in mind, here once again, we have started numbering from equation 1, 2, 3, since it is for a new scale. Okay. Now, at ice point, that is when temperature n is equal to 100, l is equal to li. Okay. And after substituting it to the above equation number 1, it becomes 100 is equal to a li plus b. The next is at steam point, l becomes equivalent to ls when the temperature is 400 degree centigrade. Now I am substituting the temperature T degree n in place of T degree n, I am substituting 400 and in place of l, I am substituting it as LS. So after getting these two equations, that is 2 and 3, so we are subtracting 2 and 3, so that is 3 minus 2, we will get this equation, out of this equation, I will be getting the value of A. So solving this equation, the value of A comes out to be as A is equal to 300 divided by LS minus LI. Now, substituting the value of A in equation 4, here is the equation 4, what I will do, I will substitute the value of A which is constant in this equation number 4 equation, so then it will take the shape of this as 400 is equal to 300 divided by LS minus LI, LS plus B. So once I get this format, I will extract the value of constant of B and this is what I have found that is 400 minus 300 divided by LS minus LI into LS. Now what will I do? I will substitute both the constant values of A and B in equation 1. After doing it, I will reduce this equation to the form of T degree N n we already know that it is of new scale representation n means new scale t degree n is equal to 300 into l minus ls divided by ls minus li plus 400 yes. okay with the continuation of the derivation we have uh, derived up to this point that is t degree n n means new scale so is equal to 300 l minus ls divided by ls minus li plus 400 now, for further substitution, what we have done is, uh, 
we already know that we have derived t degree centigrade that is 100 into l minus ls divided by ls minus li plus 100. So, I want this format somehow to bring into this format without disturbing the value. So, for that reason, so this is the final derivative of the new scale. So, what I have done, I have just uh, rearranged this particular portion in such a way that it looks just like the t degree centigrade one so that I can fit the t degree centigrade later without changing or disturbing the value or meaning of the t degree new scale. So, doing that I finally arrive to the t degree n is equal to 3 t degree c in the place of 3 degree c t degree c we can see that 100 into L minus LS divided by LS minus LI plus 100 which was earlierly derived for T degree C has been substituted and written as T degree C plus 100. Okay. Now coming to the final part of the question here the author has asked when the new scale is reading zero, sorry, 0 degree so what will be the centigrade reading? when the new scale is reading 0 degree. For that, we will be making use of the same formula. So, what we have done here is, I have taken the t degree c on the left hand side and just rearranged so that one side I have taken t degree c, rest of the things I have put it on the other side to evaluate the value of t degree c when t degree n becomes 0. So, the final value what we are going to get is, T degree C is equal to minus 33.33. It means to say when the centigrade scale is reading 0 degree centigrade, the new scale was reading 100. That means when the new scale goes below 100, it is obviously it means that in the centigrade scale, it will go below the 0. That means it is very common sense that for us to predict the value which is going to come for the t degree c when the new scale reads 0 should be negative that we can earlierly predict and now we can understand that and before as per the prediction we have got the negative value and it is 33.33 degree centigrade.